Hey everyone, so you read that title right. Fermented foods have been shown to increase your risk for all kinds of cancers. I have at least five major studies that have looked, that are meta-analyses that have looked at countless other studies and pulled their data together. They all show a, a strong association with all kinds of cancers. So let me show you here. A meta-analysis in 2011 that looked at 17 studies on the topic showed that fermented soy food consumption, like miso, soy, like miso or tempeh, increased the risk of gastric cancer by 22%. And the authors eventually concluded that eating non-fermented foods is better for reducing the risk for gastric cancer. I'm going to share my screen here with you so that you can see this study. So this is the first one. It's a meta-analysis and literally the um, authors recommend to lower your fermented soy food consumption. Um, they, they also blamed the higher incidence rates of gastric cancer in the Japanese and the Korean populations on the fact that they increased their consumption of fermented foods. Let's put this a little bit bigger. Um, it is important to note also that the researchers found that non-fermented soy consumption lowered the risk for gastric cancer. So it wasn't the soy, it was the fact that the soy was fermented that increased risk of cancer. Another one, back from 2005, it showed that kimchi and soybean paste, which is also known as donjang, I butchered that name, and those are both fermented foods, also increased risk of cancer. Let me show you the study. This is the one. Let me see if I can move this away. Yes, I can put it down here. Kimchi and soybean paste are risk factors for gastric cancer. There you go. Now you got to have the genetic um, variants that make you vulnerable to that. But obviously we have already know, we know that in those populations, they have an increased incidence of those cancers. And that's probably because they're eating all these fermented foods. Yet another study, which is this one, case control study on risk factors of laryngeal cancer in that province. And um, it showed that sauerkraut also increased risk of cancer. There you go. That's from 2011. And then there's two more. In 2010, pickled vegetables were reported to increase risk of breast cancer, unlike regular vegetables. And let me show you the study for that one. Here it is. Vegetables, but not pickled vegetables, are negatively associated with the risk of breast cancer. In other words, flip that around and you'll understand that pickled vegetables increase risk of breast cancer, whereas non-pickled vegetables lowered risk of breast cancer. And finally, the last one that I have, which is the big one, uh, it's a meta-analysis and a systematic review. It literally included a whopping 120 studies, and it showed a 50% increased risk for gastric cancer with increased consumption of pickled foods. So there you go. That's the study, 50%, that's insane. So again, this is why I do not recommend that you consume um, any kind of fermented foods. I don't think they're needed. And just because we've been consuming them for thousands of years doesn't mean we've eaten them for millions of years, which is far more important in terms of evolution. Um, I actually found this and I, I wrote it down just to make sure that I credit the original um, source of all of these studies. It was actually a video that I found on a YouTube channel called Anchor Point Films. It's not, I don't think it's even a nutrition channel, but that person was uh, did the research and was very, I guess, um, passionate about this topic. And I can see why, because I have never seen anybody, especially in the health field, ever mention those studies. So there you have it. Stop eating fermented foods. Just eat meat, lift, repeat. I'll see you in the next one. And let me see if I know how to exit this quickly enough.